as I sit here this morning watching the soapbox, you know, the various programs that come on Sundays, some of them are religious, others are politicking, and others are just something to be on air. Most of them on Sundays to a degree talk about current events. Even if not specific, they will generalize. And I sit there and I listen, especially when they move over to the political front. And I hear them talking about what's going on. And I, they're still talking about what they consider the most major problem in America today. And that is the fact that fascism, and I don't call it that, I call it evil. And the people that's uh, perpetuating it, led by uh, Donald Trump. And they really want to make sure that the country knows that what these guys represent is totally against what the Constitution itself supposedly represents. Uh, and I guess uh, they are doing the best they can as far as alerting the people to remind them of what they might have forgotten when they were in school if they got that information. And that they want them to know that as bad as we are as a nation, if you act like you are asleep and bring these other Republicans back into office, what you have ta been taught about places like Russia and China and North Korea and Vietnam and other places where you got people who don't have control of their lives, where the government has taken over without the representation that would consider the needs and wants of the people. And so they want to put that up front. I got to sneeze. Hold on. Thank you. Put that up front as they talk about the situation and who is better, Democrats or Republicans, Joe Biden or Donald Trump. And when I... Look at it. When I just look at the entire picture, say, what's going on? Really, truly, what's going on? I mean, you know, when we start looking deep for what's going on, we're going to come up with a whole bunch of different uh, avenues that we could take. But generally, what is connected with each one? And I think we would agree if we say money. Money. It's all about the money. Life according to man, is all about the money. Yeah, we talk about power. We talk about that as if it's what the man or woman or everybody wants, and it might be what they want, but they know in order to get there, they're going to need money. I think about some of the things that happen in life, some of the things that we call negative, like prostitution. What is prostitution about? It's about money. It's about money as a form of work to survive. Gambling. What is it about? It's a form of work trying to survive. And when we talk about drug trafficking, what do you think that's about? That's about the same thing, money trying to survive in a life that requires money. What do you think business is all about? Business. You know everybody says, well, just business, just business. Well, business is all about money. All of these little things right mentioning that I've just mentioned to you, they are concocted into a particular order form of doing an operation. We got us a business, and business is expensive, and it costs. money. So when you look out there and see this is a business, the first thing should come across your world. Well, you're probably going to say, can I use that business? But the one thing that's obvious, you might not have to think about it all the time, it just becomes obvious, is that business is there to make money. It's looking to get back more than it gave. Now you just trying to get the best you can for your money. That's the way it happens. And when we think about politics, ladies and gentlemen, politics, politics, I'm not going to even describe that one. That's too deep. 
when we think about government. 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 Dictator. This is how we gonna do it. But what is it all about? Can't exist. What is founded on? Who runs it? Money. Then we talk about our food. We talk about our housing. Or like thereof. We talk about uh, education. It's all about money. Money, 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 money. No doubt. Money. Then we talk about freedom. Well, without money, we say times are so hard and freedom means having the ability to be comfortable, be to relax. Why? Because these problems, hey, they kind of gone away, especially the major ones, but if they're still there, freedom from what? So, I, it robs us of our peace, our prosperity, basically our joy. But it's all about money, all about money, 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 money. Hunger, transportation, artificial intelligence, all about money. The telegraph, the lights, the computers, the phones, all about money. Goodness gracious. <laughs> Infrastructure, everything about money. Money, 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 money. And what do we have at the end of the day? Well, in the American history, we have a situation that has arrived with Donald Trump representing, I, you know, I might as well say, almost half of the nation of the American people. And that has nothing to do, basically, with all of the Republicans, many of them, maybe, I, don't know, I hate to think most of them, but many of them, and the Democrats who trying to stay above water haven't created everything that Trump is and everything that those over there are supporting Trump and the, what the Repu Republicans represent and the shortcomings of the Democratic Party. All of it is a statement about the people and the decisions and the choices that they have allowed to exist in this nation. And at this point, crucial moment in time. They got no solutions except what they are. Now, I think earlier I was thinking, I said, well, now, if America will accept Donald Trump, I mean, Donald Trump, everything that most of you guys who are my age, I don't know about, it, when you were growing up, wherever you were, most of you, not all of you, but most of you went to church. And most of the time in churches, they taught you the same kind of thing. It might have been a lie, but they were teaching you the same lie. And if it was the truth, they were teaching you the same truth. And they were telling us that the things that Donald Trump is representing and, and what he's all about and what he's saying today was with the pit fire of the mouth of Satan. And we would say we would never be like that because, hey, it's wrong. Now, we found ourselves, many of us, doing exactly what we said we wouldn't do. And we found some justification for it. Maybe just because it's a part, a product of the world that we possess. And here they are about to put him back in office, call him, we want him, we want him. That is actually saying, and especially if the people vote and say, this is what we want. And there are other people who know exactly what he is too. And they have been denouncing him all the time. But now they say in the name of democracy, in the name of, of uh, freedom from chaos, we are going to go along with it. Yeah, <laughs> no. Now God got to deal with that. God got to deal with that. See, Dr. King didn't deal with that. Even... There might be a little controversy there, but he paid the same penalty. Uh, John Kennedy, he didn't deal with that. Robert Kennedy, Malcolm X, uh, Medgar Evers, and the three young men in Philadelphia, the young white lady from Detroit, and the millions of other people. 
just name the ones that I recall with my old age. Here, my friends, they didn't give me in. They said, no, no way. And so if there are those amongst us today and Trump got back in office, I believe that would be an indication that we were really in the end times and probably sometime, if not at that moment, sometime soon that would be a rapture. And that rapture would take from this earth those who were worthy of being raptured. I don't know who they are. Don't want to know. But those would be raptured. And the rest of us after that time would be living through pure hell. And it would be the pure hell that we brought on ourselves. We couldn't say, why God doing this to us? God is not doing anything to us. We did that. We know Trump represents the pit of hell. And then half of the nation want the pit of hell to run this government? What do you think? We are going hell. What, what about the rest of us who are saying, we don't want to go to the pit of hell. Then why aren't we saying, let's climb as high as we possibly can? There are problems that exist in this nation. There are people prostituting. There are people dealing drugs. There are people lying and cheating, trying to survive. We know that. Now, why can't we go and do the kinds of things that has to be done to bring about the kinds of changes that we don't have to worry about Social Security because people's needs are going to be met. Their wants are going to be met. Their desires are going to be met because we as a people are going to work together in everything that we do to make sure that we the people benefit from that as a way of showing our appreciation for one another. It might mean we love God, but we'll be up showing our appreciation for one another. We're not going to let you starve just because you're black. We're not going to let you be homeless just because you're white. We're not going to let you be walking the street with a snotty nose and not the head just because you are not us. No, my friends, you are a human being made by the power of the living God. And I know that, and you're going to know that I know that, because that's what I'm going to speak for, and I'm going to put down everything else that takes us away from that. Hey, all about money. This campaign should be, look what we have to offer. Not trying to strategize. He's so much worse than we. So you got to keep me in because he's too bad. God damn it. How good can you get? You can't get no better. I'm talking to you. You can't get any better. All right, that's enough. You got my message. Talk to you later.